So here I have a filter which I want to characterize. There is the input. The input is fed by a function generator and um, at the same time as displayed on the scope there is an oscilloscope and the output is also connected to the scope to the second channel there is the power supply that's everything and there is some scripting some measurement automation um, I have a, a few scripts you see the one talks to the oscilloscope the other to the function generator and um, I can do whatever the commands allow like um, switching on the output and um, it's more interesting that I can step through frequencies. Um, let's take these settings and uh, press start sweeping. It um, prints the, the frequency array that will be applied. And uh, by pressing once more, it it already performs the measurement. This is a very shiny display. Here I see time domain signals and the Fourier transform of them, so I can judge whether the signal is clipped or not. And um, of course, I do not necessarily need uh, such a plot from each step, so I can disable this checkbox and wait until the script is ready. So this is the result just after a few minutes. It uh, clearly shows the um, low pass behavior, the amplitude response and the phase response. The phase is a bit weird, but uh, you have to take in account that there is already minus 100 dB attenuation. So it's very hard to estimate the phase at uh, such low levels. Um, I did measurements for a wider frequency range starting from 100 millihertz it takes for each of these taps of at least um, 500 seconds to have enough samples to um, have a proper signal and you clearly see how well this filter is performing. There is 50 Hertz and um, I'm sorry the <laughs> I'm sorry the, there is 50 Hertz and you see it's well below minus 90 decibel. The theoretical simulation um, uh, shows something about 90 decibel. It's not that far off. Of course, all the results will be saved in a text file for future evaluation. There is the 50 Hertz line, minus 100 to be, to be exact. And it's very well tuned for uh, 0.1 Hertz corner frequency, so you almost minus 3 dB at uh, 0.1 Hertz. 
and there is all the data stored in a, a NumPy file. So basically this is what I did for um, frequency analysis. I uh, programmed this um, application, this uh, class in Python. Um, it's modular, it can talk to um, whatever scope and whatever function generator you have. It's um, very general. And um, yeah, for